I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Glauchestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife. And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Need your eyes, my friend. Some time. Here. Eivor, thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Bavendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, Gunnar, I hoped it would be at home. No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Whose blessing? I see no pitchfork shaking father or weeping mother. <laughs> Glauachester's elderman, Kunan. He helped raise Briggs since she was a pup. Have you a family, Bridget? If mom and dad carried Evan Gilly than Anun, Kunan helped Drews me. Briggs and Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air see a compass gillow. A tavor gal, cleese sound. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back.
There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be Elderman after Kuna. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevdar, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. 
I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch, or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil is spread down in creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowachester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, that's Hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing a gunner if no one else is dressed. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lubed. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sow in night and the moon is high. Mari Lewid haunts my door.
Give me sweets and candy treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then. Sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Ready to rhyme with me. Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Oh, have a cake for your troubles then. Mm -hmm. ah, lads getting into their cups. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? My cakes. Then, through the mist of the night. What do you see, Sunan? Please, continue. Then, through the mist of the night. <clears throat> Gunner! Oh, I said, oh, clock is to Take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smear. <laughs> you are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and tall. You're dead. It's you lot we should be burning alive. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowchester? They know how to have fun. Spears, my leg. Gunner. Beanivalis, enough. Keep your brawls to the other side of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look is. Maldron's a gumpas to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. Is Dean a fool? Regardless of poise of poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. My man Modren is known I'm a humor toet Gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tempter's shoulders. Modren. You do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. 
I do not work miracles. Bitter ale and sweet friends. That is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lad will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For a shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Quillam. Not every tonsured man is a wet eared abbey, babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. This merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me, for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you are the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. A toast, then, to Elderman Kunan, Joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging oceans, no effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> This'll work faster than any tonic. 
Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ours. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Ha! <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are. Right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. <laughs> it's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um... Well... Come on in. Tefter! 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 Where are you? <sighs> Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. The effects of that draft still cling. Tefter! Are you here? Tefter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. This pot has been broken, 
And it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. Mighty footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Quillam's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here. Lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tifta. And they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwillem's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwillem's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the contents. She is? What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same. Conan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Stretch your wings sooner. Hands taggy with old blood from a new king. It would be best to lie low. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember. Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! Damn Christ, sons, what is it they want now? They make this place unlivable for pagans. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. 
Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Mortals be gone. I am summoning a spirit of the woods. I can speak to no one else. Just as Mordrin said. Maybe I should disguise myself. have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Another joins the throng. There be cacophony! One more! One more! They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last. Speak to me, O oh wind! I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. That should be the last one. 
back to the droid. A hangman's noose. A knife. And the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Dagger is placed upside down. <laughs> Their mouths are open like they've been screaming secrets. This symbol is one I've seen, carved into shields and headstones. to A4, but perhaps he'll speak to me. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? Which job? Maidens in peril are protected by Sabrina of the Severn. Sabrina the Water Nymph, yes. Tell me, O oh being of air and light. Which is the charm you would use to leave the past behind? The Adam A. Dagger cuts our ties with the past. The upturned blade. Things can be reversed. You know this charm. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Blauchester. In the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Ladrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby.
see Modron ahead. Modron, well met. Guards, someone save me. A murderer's Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Teftir. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin. Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Teftir and myself. Kuth Ladrin is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. <laughs> this forest in old Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. You think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? See much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuth Ludrin, the Thieves Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Show me. I must be careful now. Learn this from one of the daughters of Naimu. They're blessed and holy healing. Cast about this land, my friend. Been a great comfort. That's Tifter's voice. So he lives. That must be where Gwilym is hiding. Be my eyes soon.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I would under all this. Elderman Kroonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sells swords, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Teftir killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but you have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we weren't going to kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell her. Tell her we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up. Wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah. Move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lot have been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I, will. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out. But he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevder to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunon? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunon before the festival's end.
Where are you, Kuma? He isn't here. Someone else may have seen him. Richard is here. Ugh. Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Hwaled. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor! What has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. I have found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun- Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it no a lay god. It's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Let's go find him! There are the church ladies! They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an Looking acorn a from your ear. I need to find Kunan. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival ladies in charge wear one. I'm looking for Glowerchester's elderman. Well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some ale will lose this time. You harbor a personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building, or, Lord forbid, God himself. Damn kids here keep ruining my offerings in his glory. Offerings? Windows! Do you know the work, the artistry that goes into making a sheet of glass into a martyr? The pretty glass pictures? They do break easily. Yes, they do. Moons of painstaking work, shattered by one foul stone sent by pagan ruffians. I'm very sorry for the loss of your work. I must get going. Wait, wait! One last drink before you go! A toast to Elderman Kunan, or a toast to Sawin. One to the Mary Louid. Do you want to, uh, glass? If I break the glass window, I can get into the church. <laughs>
There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you... have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader, and an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch, this was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modru. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenive, but a united Glowichestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernonos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure.
Sunan, guide me. Just gamble away from me. Hit the 
filthy wretch! and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sellot you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. Without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother?
What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No, we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter, despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe, and the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon, if you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga. But it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Grant. Please don't do it! We can burn something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, <laughs> you will see me again. Father... I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O king. Your altar awaits. 
I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the Harvest King! Bloody pagans! Why does Kuna... The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. My love. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. 